Be welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my God! To your very good health. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. Indulge me. You don't know what you're missing. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As an air about you, something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? And you're certain you will continue to resist? Good. I will take your word for it. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. You've been to the towers. Incredible. Your parasite has already served you well. I suppose you know about Keverick then. His invincibility that we'll never cleanse this place until he's made to bleed. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. You've learned so much. <sighs> that tadpole in your head already begins to pay dividends. This relic must be your focus instead then. Find it. Strip him of its power. Once Ketherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight.